Today's project is changing the filter on a Ream Prestige tankless unit. First thing you need to do is turn off the power. As a second precaution, you remove the plug. And now you need to shut off the cold water inlet. And if whoever installed the unit did it right, you have a nice shut off valve. You should also shut off the hot water to isolate the unit, but in this case, the sediment has really blocked it in. So we're going to go the, the next route, which is to release the water from the unit. Once all the water has finished draining, we come over and the filter is located right before the cold water inlet goes into the unit. You turn this and you'll notice that I have a pan just to catch some water. Normally this is hand tightened. It may get a little stubborn. So uh, if you have to use a pair of pliers, be gentle because it is plastic. As you see, there's some water that's running out of it. Once you uh, spill enough water all over the place, you should be able to take out the unit. And it's this, the small filter. You'd think this would come right off, but it doesn't. What you'll notice is that there's little bits. Let's see it in there. And depending on your water, there could be a lot of them, which is why they tell you to clean this out every month. And how do you clean it? With water. Apologies for the bad audio. The important thing to know is not to use any chemicals or tools to try to clean out this filter. It is plastic, it is fragile. Water pressure is shaking around and maybe your finger, but that's it. If you start using a sharp object, you're just going to ruin the filter and then you're going to have to go out and buy a replacement unit. And we're ready to reinsert the unit. Reinserting the unit is simple. Let's put it back in. Hand tighten, but not gorilla tighten. Because remember, next month you have to be able to get this thing back off again. And by the way, that little tab that you saw is so that you can strap it on to uh, a pipe or a screw so this doesn't get lost, but then you can't really clean it. So it's hand tightened. I'm going to close off the pressure valve. I'm going to allow the water to come back into the system. Water's in the system. And now I'm going to plug back in. Turn on the unit. And you're good for another month. That's the only maintenance you have to do month to month. There is a yearly flush out that you could hire someone or um, do it yourself, but that's for another video.